Hey everyone, Roscoe Kyoto here. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, anyway, let's go for a ride. Yeah, just up through here, just, there's, um, just a few turns to help you, uh, break in your tires a little bit, scrub them in. Just want to see how they're feeling. Um, I don't want to lean it over a lot, but just, you can kind of feel how they are, how they're doing. They're feeling okay. Feels pretty nice. I think I really like these new tires. Oops. These are the uh, new Pirelli uh, Diablo Rosso 4s. They're just like sport touring tires, but very grippy. Well, my mount broke on my uh, GoPro to my helmet, and then the rest is history. Just uh, got busy with work, busy with uh, watching the world sway back and forth between chaos and disaster and anxiety and n pretend normalcy. And um, so, but anyway, I'm back now and uh, still kicking it here in Kyoto, Japan. And also, I definitely was not riding my motorbike to work every day because. Uh, because uh, life got in the way. But anyway, I'm riding the motorbike now and that's good enough for me. Um, we're not riding to work. This is not a uh, work commute. And you'll notice that the camera is on the bike because uh, that's the only amount I have for now. So sorry about that. Maybe it's boring. Maybe you tune out now. Maybe you just uh, turn everything off and run away and that's cool. But uh, it's on the gas tank. That's where it's sitting for today. I'm in the countryside. This is Keihoku, uh, north rural area uh, in Kyoto prefecture. But it's nice to come out here because lots of turns and not a lot of traffic once you get past all the trucks. So we like it. I'm not sure if there are any police out today. I know they get like to hang out here. Speed limits, as you know, or you may have heard, are so low in Japan, like 40 kilometers an hour or something, around here anyway. Yeah, it's 40. So if you're going like this, that's like, I'm not gonna say 70 or 80, so that's already like a massive, massive ticket. Uh, new tires, we'll talk about that later. That's kind of one of the purposes of this ride, is, uh, oh, lots of gravel, shit. Uh, scrubbing them in. Scrub, scrub, scrub. But don't worry, I'm not, like, fresh out of the shop with new tires or anything. I did ride yesterday. But they are new. Sha -la -la -la. Imagine living here. I guess you can't see. Damn it, the camera's only going straight. It's funny, this is like a countryside area, but the houses to the right, I don't know if you saw, they're still very small and just rammed right next to each other, even though there's so much space. But yeah, man, oh, I miss this motorcycle so much. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I also had um, mechanical issues with this thing that I had to remedy, and then it got cold. 
and I got a car, which I'm not going to talk about. I'm very uh, embarrassed about, but uh, I did get a car. Um, I know that motorcyclists, we hate cars, hate those cagers, but still, I, I did get one as I, I like cars as well. And so I was just riding that a lot, and it helped get through the the uh, depressive, cold winters. Uh, first stop is a convenience store where I'd like to refresh myself with a delicious Coca-Cola before we continue on into the heart of the Keihoku area. And here we are. Okay, we'll report back in a bit. And we're back, back in action. After a absolutely stunning Coca-Cola from the local Lawson's, sugar was just right, nice and cold. So this is Japan, man, cruising down the 162. Uh, this was kind of like a pretty important route historically, because it goes all the way to the ocean. So it may have been popular for trading, bringing back fresh fish to the emperor, something along those lines. I like this kind of part, you know, these just, I love riding to the forest. I love forest in general. I should change my name to forest. So pleasant. So actually, these are new tires. And um, how it works, as you probably know, is that uh, new tires on a motorbike have to be scrubbed in. Uh, there's, they're kind of left with a certain surface on them when they're fresh from the factory, maybe to do with the mold that they're made in or something like that. In any case, what's important is that they're slippery when they're new. So you have to ride for like, I don't know, maybe 100k or 200k or, or really not even. You just whatever kind of like twisty road you can find to slowly lean the, mo lean the bike over and uh, just get that stuff off it. Um, if you accelerate and brake too quickly, when they're new, uh, they just slip. So that's kind of one of the purposes of this ride. I mean, I rode yesterday, but um, yeah, just getting a little bit more miles on to get that stuff off the tires. And so uh, I don't really ride that fast anyway, but it's one of the reasons why I'm not taking, I'm not gonna like lean this bike way over. The sketchiest part is like right when you're leaving the shop, they feel so weird. Like they're all over the place, but once they heat up, you go through some heat cycles and uh, of the tires just heating up and cooling down and gets that stuff off. Okay, so I have to go through a tunnel and uh, I have like a uh, tinted visor so I can't see anything. <laughs> so I gotta open it up. Because my front light sucks. A lot of tunnels in Japan. Not sure if you can hear me, but uh, oh, there's my low beam light. So many tunnels in Japan because it's so mountainous so they have to kind of carve through the tunnels and if you don't like tunnels, this is not the place for you. I see a light! Here we are. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Back to reality. Ah. So we are edging closer to a place uh, in this Keihoku area called Miyama. And uh, it's famous for gelato. And probably more importantly, um, houses which, with thatched roofs which the whole community comes together and makes and maintains, and they're pretty cool. In the past, this motorbike used to be like so uncomfortable, and, and don't get me wrong, it still is, but I don't know what's happened. Maybe just like from the gym or some kind of court training or just because my knees and back are just already knackered. Uh, it somehow got better. It's not like so uncomfortable anymore. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the stretching. Maybe because I used to ride it a lot more and it just added up, I don't know. But. Yeah, it's, it's all good now, kind of. These kind of sport bikes with this kind of riding position of like the early 90s sports replica styles, you can only ride them for like 100 kilometers or a little bit more, like a couple hours or so, and you have to take a break. There's no way you can sit on a sport bike for that long, especially if you're a taller rider. 
So I don't know if you can see, but for example, there's like one house there with a really kind of very angled roof. It's not a thatched roof, but it's just the classic country style, countryside style home. And every uh, family has kind of like their own logo. Japan does logos very well. And they display their logo on the, on the roof of their house. So here we are, welcomed by a beautiful pink bridge. Maybe it's red. Stop into the little local town. Very quiet today. Yeah, so take it easy everyone. Thanks for hanging around today and uh, joining this uh, journey of scrubbing in the tires. I hope it wasn't just uh, torturously boring. And, uh, and uh, I'll try to make some more videos soon. Just uh, climbing a few hills before I go home. Sun's going down. So, yeah. I'll leave you with this. Goodbye, everyone. Take it easy. Ciao.